A new Canadian Gold Rush, Fraser River Edition. We are in the Mars biome. The Fraser River Valley has all sorts of very interesting outcroppings. When I checked out this area, there's mine files, min files all over the place. So there's clearly exploration going on all over the place. All right, so we just got here in the beautiful Fraser River in central British Columbia. And I've climbed up on top of this this area here, and I'm just checking out some of the surface material. And there is rounded river rocks, cobbles, pebbles. It actually looks pretty interesting. I'll have to take a sample even right up here. And then I'm going to try and prospect a bunch of these little little tiny depressions, little valleys where everything's kind of eroded down. Should maybe go up each one of those, see what I can find. But you can see this all almost like a central erosion pattern down the center. And there's smaller erosion channels down the side. Another episode of New Canadian Gold Rush. We've come down a long way and it's still a long way down. A long way to go. And then we came quite a ways down. This will be a trek for tomorrow. So pretty amazing to see all these contact layers. You can see how the colors change. The stratigraphy tells the whole story here of the geology of the Fraser. And we're going to try to piece it together. See if we can find some gold nuggets. One of these layers out here will contain a lot of gold. And then up river here, you can see all sorts of eddies and little outcroppings that are affecting the flow of the river. And hopefully when we come back here when the water is low, it'll reveal some very interesting geology and hopefully a bunch of low pressure zones and banks of gravel that we can high bank. Pretty beautiful, beautiful country though. So we've been jokingly calling this area the Mars biome just because it's all red earth and rugged. It's really, really, really hot out here. It's like a desert. Scorching. The camp is a giant pile of gravel, so of course we'll take a little sample. Stratigraphy is the analysis of layers and relative position to attain geological and archaeological information. We took samples from several of the different layers, as well as material at the bottom of the formations that should include a mixture of material. At the top of this picture you can see light material that likely has no gold, followed by other layers of deposition that may or may not contain gold. Right, we are at Cache Creek, and it is raining, so we're going to pan some of the test samples we took the other day. And here's a little station we set up. Cash Creek test sample. This one's visible gold. So what did you just find, Dad? <laughs> A salted nugget. Yeah, the salted nugget. You swear you didn't salt that? I swear I salted that. <laughs> you swear you salted it? Yeah. Oh, that's a Way to go, so you did salt it. And here you can see Cache Creek before one day of hard rain. These arid areas can't hold much water before it becomes saturated, so when it does rain, it creates flood events which can in return add more gold back into previously depleted systems. It rains so much in this kind of Caribou Fraser area that even in a single night at near max water level, it can still almost double. This doubled last night during an almost pure day of rain. And you can just tell by the color of the water, it's moving a lot of surface material. And so this will draw in a whole bunch of new gold that's going across quartz seams that are leaching micro gold back into the system. And so this is how these systems all get replenished. Pretty amazing, the power of nature. All right, long gun here, beginning of the adventure, the hike down to the Fraser. About 400 meters vertical. We'll 
we'll see how it goes. Some nephrite jade samples. It's just like rough green stuff. Once you cut and polish it though, it looks quite beautiful, almost as good as the jadeite. A bit windy, but you can get a sense of just how large these drops are and how rugged this terrain is. If you look closely, you can see that the Fraser is at max capacity. It rained a lot in the past few days, so this is probably as high as you will ever see it. Here you can see a gravel seam. And you can see all those layers, all that cobble, everything's eroding down into a spot that might be worth sampling. We took a lot of samples and didn't really find any gold. We did find some moss and a few mineral samples along the way as we prospected the waterfall leading down into the Fraser River. We made it down most of the way and we found a nice little feeder creek going straight into the Fraser. Beautiful nugget country. Let's take a peek. You can actually see there's little garnets and black sand and heavies already pre-classified for us. Another sample in the making. Some beauty gravel. There's a nugget there. And we found nothing. It's really beautiful country, even if we don't find any gold. There's always the adventure. We are very high up. Site is there. The end of this valley here, valley number two, valley number one into the Fraser, valley two into the Fraser, and then the hill there is the th marks the third, and then there's a third little one in there with two pine trees at the end. Looks like a lovely area to crevice, lots of nice bedrock, slaty stuff that's has riffles, natural riffles in it. Beautiful. Nugget country. Really high Fraser River edition. July 1st. Though we didn't find any gold, we were able to complete the basics of our scouting mission, including meeting some private property owners and identifying areas for further exploration during times of low water. Not every adventure ends with gold in a jar, but it is necessary to lay the groundwork so future success can be achieved. I can sense the nuggets, they're out there.